my name is Clark <coughs> and my last name is Cole. <coughs> and this story is about uh, this story is Year of Impossible Goodbyes. And this story this story is about a uh, girl named Sukan and their family. And they had many difficult things on 1945. Yeah, I'm going to present timeline first. Spring on 1945, Japan occupied Korea. Suka and her family lived in Korea. They were suffering by Japanese because the imperial soldiers required many things to Korea. Grandfather was very wise. Suka and Insan were brave. Uh, Aunt Tiger was a complainer and mother was elegant. <coughs> Chapter 1 Grandfather taught his grandchildren Insan and Suka in his house. He taught them how to write Chinese and the stories of, uh, stories of ancient Korean kingdoms. Where they were taught, they had to hide because they had to go to Japanese school. Chapter 2 Mother went to Teresa's convent to get some books for Hewa's birthday present. The next morning, Mother's family pr prepared for Hewa's birthday party. When Hewa and the family were enjoying the grandfather, uh, Entering the party, Captain Narita and his lieutenants came to them and disturbed the party. Then they destroyed the grandfather's pine tree so he became ill. After that, Sukan and Nichan gave the branches of pine tree to the sap girls. Chapter, uh, chapter 3 Grandfather called his grandchildren and his daughter and asked her to tell them about their pets. Mother took out the box which contains the pictures of the p p past. At the moment, grandfather died in front of them so, began, so they began to cry and became sad for a long time. Chapter 5 one early, mor one early morning, mother received a notice from one of Captain Narita's lieutenants. He said that Suka must attend the Japanese school. <coughs> Thus, Sukan went to school and met Narita Sensei, the wife of Captain Narita. But there were many things to do and not to do. Sukan followed these directions not to make her family too far in trouble, but sometimes she did something wrong so she had so she had some troubles with Japanese. Chapter six. Benkis, uh, no, chapter five. Mother became, mother became sick after grandfather died, so the children couldn't eat the meals well while she was sick. Aunt Tiger went, uh, sent Kisa to the convent for some medicine for mother, and Kisa came back with the news that Japanese have surrendered. Chapter 6 When Kisa brought the news that Japanese have surrendered, he told his fam family about other things too. First, the Korean, the Korean Peninsula had divided at the 38th parallel, and the Russians are taking Korean men to Siberia. Chapter six. Korea regained their freedom, so they began to break down the Shinto temple and wear hanbok, the traditional, the traditional colors of Korea. But some families became sad because their families just died after they came back from the labor camp. Therefore, there were the happinesses and sadnesses on August 5th, 15th, 1945. Chapter 6, uh, Chapter 7. The Russians, ca uh, Russians came to Korea and occupied just like the Japanese. Then they were successful to convert Koreans to communism and forbid them to escape to South Korea and kill them. Kill them. And they taught them about only Russia's good things. Chapter 7 When the, when the Russians were occupying North Korea, they, they gave them many jobs. North, Co North Koreans had to attend the party in the evening and they also worked for the Russian soldiers. Russians took their little children to the little proletariat school. They learned about Russia and worked for Russian soldiers. 
This is Monotonous Days for Continuing on North Korea. Chapter 8 Mother and her family were waiting for their three brothers, father and uncle to came, come back, but they, did, but they did, didn't. So mother and her family planned to escape to the south. Kisa said that he is going to help them to escape to the south, and Under Tiger said that she will do best as she can for Russians not to make any suspicions. One day, mother, mother, Incheon, and Sukhan were ready to leave and said goodbye to each other. Finally, they left with one guide who will help them to escape the south. Chapter 9 Sukhan, uh, Sukhan Incheon, and mother followed the guide to escape the south, so they took the train. At the moment, they felt that the guide was missing in their sight until they got off the train. When the Russian soldiers were checking their checking mother's passport, they pulled out they pulled her out of the line. So Incheon began to cry, and the guide and the guide appears to lead them to a house <coughs> and abandon them. Chapter ten. Sukhan and Nichan stayed near the market for three days to look for mother. So they went to a Russian guard house to ask about mother, but they took them and investigated investigated why they were here. Why they were here? Finally, finally they told Sukhan and Nichan to go away. So they returned to the train station. But Sukhan knew that if they go back to the home. It would make Kisa and Uncle Tiger to die. Therefore, Sikhan and Incheon organized about it. Chapter 10 When Sukhan and Incheon were staying at the train station to look for mother, the elderly man gave them a ticket stop uh, to, show, to show it to a train conductor who will help them to escape the south. Sukhan and Incheon out mother was already in south so they decided to follow the elderly man's elderly man's directions and then they met a tr and then they met a train conductor and he began to shoot them Sukhan and Incheon to crawl underneath the train Sukhan and Incheon were through, uh, went through the muddy field to reach south Suddenly, they heard the barking dogs and Russian soldiers' stepping sound. As soon as they heard them, heard them Sukhan and Incheon started, started to run faster. When they reached the barbed wire fence, they went underneath it. Finally, they escaped to the south completely. Epilogue Incheon and Sukhan had a slot for days for days at the Red Cross Center at the 38th parallel and they were fed by the nurse and also she bandaged their feet. When their feet got the recuperation, the nurse put them on the bus to their house at 23 Ujiro Saga. Finally, they arrived at home and met father and three brothers but mother wasn't there so they began to pray for mother and other families to escape the south. After a long time, mother loomed at the house at Seoul and she said that she was working for the wife of Russia. Finally, they lived together in South Korea. And I'm going to present the depiction of grandfather. Grandfather likes to meditate under the pine tree every morning. He's very, he's very peaceful and benevolent. He wants the thumbnail. He wears the thumbnail on his head. Head, and he passed away in chapter three. He was a he was a very important scholar. The thumbnail was a symbol of of scholar's <coughs> culture and identity. Grandfather's coat. It has been 36 years since I have meditated on in the warmth of a spring sun. Do not feel bitter about that about what happened. I'm not angry anymore. 
I knew that better times will come soon to you. And Inchan and Sukan, you guys are peaceful, intelligent, and really grown up well. <coughs> the woman in town called him patriarch grandfather or scholar grandfather. Sometimes they brought special let letters and poetry written in Chinese characters for grandfather to translate into Korean script. Hunger. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Yeah.